Soil erosion is irreversible. We are losing our soils at a much greater rate than they're actually being formed. The increases of erosion in the future due to climate change will actually make that difference bigger. That will affect our long-term food security through agricultural production, as well as off-site environmental impacts through water quality and sedimentation. Heavy rain that falls in a very short period of time during a severe storm is a major driver of soil erosion. If the rain is heavy enough, the soil cannot absorb the rainfall. It flows across the soil surface, taking with it a layer of topsoil which is rich in nutrients and organic matter. It can mean less production in land in terms of crop production and pasture production. It can also mean sediments getting into our waterways, lakes and estuaries. It carries with it nutrients. That can cause eutrophication of the lakes and estuaries, which is a build-up of algae. It can also affect the actual quality of the water in the lake, which can have quite major impacts on the aquatic ecosystems. In the near future, erosion is expected to increase across New South Wales by about 7%. In the far future, the increase is much bigger, up to about 19%. The areas of New South Wales most affected will be those areas which currently experience high erosion. And that includes areas along the Great Dividing Range, the North Coast, the Central Coast and the Hunter Region. The biggest thing a landholder or farmer can do is to maintain vegetation or ground cover, usually to a level about 70%, and that will protect the soil from the actual raindrops and the surface runoff.